What if I just give you all the tools you need so that you can make money in the transportation industry? What if just telling you that, hey, you need to go do X, Y, and Z, but instead I will just show you step by step. You need to click here, you need to go there. This is the website and do X, Y, and Z. And then this is how you get the information you needed or the resources or the tools you needed for your business. So today I have this tool that not many people know. This is, by the way, specifically for the box truck owners and Sprinter van owners. This is this is um, the, the 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 life specifically dedicated for the box truck owners and the Sprinter van owners, right? So why is that? Those th that that is the market that people struggling finding loads for their trucks. And trailers. And when I say box truck, obviously they don't have trailers. Well, it's just basically a box truck. And many people, they don't know, you know, they know what I'm talking about. And obviously, sprinter vans, and you guys know what I'm talking about. But then also, we have the uh, market we, what we call is hotshot market. So there, there is a trailer attached, and, and people obviously struggling finding loads. Nowadays, it seems like we all struggling finding loads. And we did a really uh, in-depth load board training with Michael. Michael is from um, DAT. Um, he 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 did a really phenomenal job in demonstrating how you can optimize a load board. So if you missed that, so you can look up the video how to optimize your load board. And again, this is this live training specifically for box truck owners and sprinter van owners. And I got a lot of emails saying we're struggling finding loads. Can you help us? There is a tool. Without further ado, and, and by the way, guys, this this is a live training. In in this is very casual. It's not scripting. It's nothing like that. I just really like to keep it simple. And right after work, before go, going home on Tuesdays, I sit down and and answer all the questions and trying to help. Um, basically, I can say I'm on a mission to help carriers and independent freight dispatchers out there. And why is that? Why I want to really help these people, specifically carriers, they struggle in finding loads. is because I'm a former carrier. I was in the flatbed market. I really struggled how to find loads for my trucks. When you can't find loads, this if you're not a carrier, I don't know if you feel this, but carriers watching this right now, they feel, they can feel me. And what I'm trying to say is that when you can't find loads, it affects entire business. When you just basically can't sleep, you have drivers, you have you know team members, you have dispatchers, and, and obviously you have a lot of expense in your trucking business that you need to kind of you know you need the money. Like yesterday, it's capital intensive business, and what's happening when you can't find loads? It's just like this fear goes into you, and, and you just lose your sleep and you can't sleep at night. You just wake up in the middle of the night and carriers they can feel is that they just wake up in, you know, in the middle of the night thinking, how am I going to pay for my truck that costing me about 2,500? How am I going to pay trailer that costing me about $1,200? How am I going to you know, pay for my insurance policy that costs anywhere between 1,500 to 3,500? Yes, there are some people paying a lot of insurance premiums because of the accidents. Well, in finding loads, and this is why I specifically focus on delivering as far as content goes in the, these live training and obviously pre-recorded videos, is that helping people, obviously, though there are some people going into the business, they want to start their brokerage companies, they want to start their tracking companies, they want to start uh, independent freight dispatching business. And I don't teach how to start your brokerage company, but I do teach how you can start your uh, tracking company, how you can start um, your independent freight dispatching business. So, not moving from the you know from the topic. So today in this video, I'll be sharing the tool. As I said in the beginning, not many people utilize this tool that is available to you, and box truck owners and sprinter van owners they. They'll be doing everything possible to find loads. There are some successful people out there. They have hundreds of you know box trucks. I would say sprinter vans. There are a lot of them, but majority of those people, what I see struggling. One of the reasons is because it's very niche market. They're they're um, they're in the 
furniture market or it's it's a household goods if you will and that is a very niche market what they're doing is that well i'm going into trucking business but most of the drivers i think thinking well business owners they're thinking okay i don't need a cdl which is commercial driver license to drive you know this box truck or sprinter vans well i would just you know go and finance a an equipment and then i start moving you know or hauling freight and then what they realize is that wow the load boards that out there truck stop you know dat you know dat power load boards out there they're not really designed for these people and then we'll just log in and we'll see and then they will search maybe partial loads or less than truck loads and they will be struggling finding loads and then they realize is that oh wow finding loads it, it's really really hard for this market but if you're not willing to connect with direct shipper and i shared a lot of ideas how you can contact with distribution centers that's that's one way of doing it and by the way there are a couple of people from just watching this youtube videos they implement and they have they have you know consistent freight by the way so i'm, I'm, I'm planning getting those people on an interview saying that how how you did approach these people um, what did you say do you have any specific i don't know ways to approach these people meaning specifically box truck and sprinter vans that you get consistent loads um, from x y and z distribution centers or the companies so the second thing, obviously, you work with the broker. And broker in the household goods, specifically, they're, they're brokers that they're in this niche market, right? Niche market meaning a very, or niche, it depends how you pronounce that word, is basically very narrowed down market that, that brokers serve. So there are a lot of people moving all across the country. There are a lot of relocation happening. and you'll see those people um you know moving for example furniture they're moving um you know office supplies whatnot but there is a government tool right the fmcsa and then i'll just make it bigger so you can see and this is how you can use this tool it's by the way it's it's, it's amazing tool um and you can search by state and what we'll be doing i'll just you know make it really big and then you will see that we will be searching freight brokers and i'll talk also about the the, the difference between um, freight forwarders and freight brokers and i highly recommend working for, with freight forwarders and there's the reason i'll be sharing with you and again if you have questions please let me know but then you need to work with a specific broker what what, what we call is the household you know freight brokers they, they specifically represent consumers out there that they really wanted to relocate or you know buying furnitures whatnot and then they will be arranging these um you know logistics for for those um, customers and obviously they then they will be selling to carriers and i really recommend working if you are in the box truck if you're in the uh, sprinter if you have those equipments i highly recommend going into this um the fmcsa tool that you know they have let's imagine that you are from you, you can search basically all 50 states but what i will do is that i will go to um, georgia so i'll go to georgia and, and this is you can search basically by the company search by company or you can search by state state i highly recommend searching by state so there's a drop down menu you can go to any state as you can see maybe you are a box truck owner and you are out of arizona maybe i don't know from california Colorado, whatever, from Kentucky, Ohio, it doesn't matter. So you just pick your state. Let's pick Georgia and, and click search. So what's happening? These are the people specifically hauling the the household goods. That's so the household goods basically covers like office supplies and you know home furniture. It would just basically we'll call it um, household goods. What I would do, do and, and again, this is this is the carrier, and and, and we, I mean, we have a lot of carriers, we have brokers, and we have freight forwarders, as you can see. Now, what I would do, I'll just go ahead and click this company type, right? So now it's basically lists all the carriers. These are the box truck owners, by the way, right? So then what I will do, I will click second time. Now you have all the freight forwarders. That means basically these are the people moving 
whatever the stuff you are moving, if you are in the box truck and if you are in the, in the uh, you know sprinter van, these people have the loads you want. And think about majority of these brokers in this database, they might not be posting these loads on the load boards. And one of the reasons, and you don't see those loads, and, and we did this training, the live training with one of the team members, the DAT, his name is Michael. As I said at the beginning, please watch that video. It's an awesome video. It's an hour-long video, and it basically shows you everything you need to know about the DAT load board. Yes, there is a tackle, meaning you just switch from any to a specific trailer, and then you can search um, you know, the specific you know, equipment type. Um, straight box truck, whatnot. It works, but not all the box truck, it, the the freight brokers and freight forwarders. Basically, they they are the brokers. They, they're simply they're not posting loads on these load boards. Remember, we also talked about if if you watched it, Michael also talked about the internal network. So nowadays, brokers send to their internal network of carriers. They're not even posting to the public, meaning public, meaning um, carriers in general, so, so that they can see. Now, brokers prefer working with the specific carrier or carrier type. So here is the deal. This is what you need, and you're looking for a list of brokers out there. And I, we did a coaching call. And by the way, if you want to be a part of the coaching call, there will be a link below this video. And we do have a paid program as well. It's a coaching call. I mean, the coaching program, if, you, if you're really interested, there will be a link below. Now, we in that coaching call, one of my students says that, Kamal, there is a company selling leads. And I was interested. And I said, okay, what, what, what's the um, company or website? Where should I go? Let me Let me check. And what I realized is that, guys, if, if you're really looking for a purchase lead, I don't recommend purchasing leads. I don't recommend you just hard-earned money paying for somebody who does this on your behalf, right? So there is a way of doing this. With This resource is available for everybody. You go there and you can see that there, there are freight forwarders. And obviously, right after the freight forwarders, then freight brokers. These are the freight brokers. And again, these people have your loads. So if you really want to haul, you, you, if you are struggling with finding loads for your box truck, for your sprinter van, this is the tool that you need to know. Just like go in and, and you can click on, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but you can just, you know, on your free time, you just go there, use this tool. I'll also include this link. You can go there. This is FMCSA website specifically for box trucks and the, you know, sprinter van. Well, maybe you're confusing. Well, well, there's nothing says about the box truck and nothing says about the sprinter van. But think about it. these: the household goods program. That means these are the people in your market. These are the people that well you know, think about the competition, right? So these are the people, freight forwarders and brokers. They have what you need, right? So what you need to do is that. You can create the Excel spreadsheet if you wanted to, but if I were you, what I would do is just start calling them that, hey, I own a box truck or box trucks. I have 10, I have four, I have five. I serve this location. I'm in Georgia, so this is what I do. And, and just connect with them. And think about if brokers, they have loads for the box truck owners and you just approach them and saying, hey, I, I, I do own equipment and you have a load, let's work, right? You're not dealing with the load, but you, you, you can definitely do that. But since load boards are not designed specifically for box truck and a sprinter van, and this is the resource, the number one resource you need to use. So that a lot of brokers that, so basically these people working with in, in a commercial, they, they, they live, they beat meaning in a business to business, they, you know, business to consumers, meaning the direct customers, residential people are moving and you will see a lot of people moving. Right. And then you will see th th there is a box truck. And maybe you're thinking like how are these people finding loads, but customers, they don't post loads, let's say on, you know, load boards. And obviously they're brokers specifically, you know, helping arrange, let's say, freight specifically in, in, in the household goods. 
Guys, this is what you need, right? So this is the tool. And again, as I said, I'll be including this um, the link so that you can just start pulling those brokers and start calling them and just connect with them and start making money.